Gregorian chant, the soul of sacred music, and the body of the music you'll hear on our program, Sacred Soundings. Music to deepen your faith beyond measure. I'm Al Romano, your host for Sacred Soundings, on listener-supported St. Gabriel Catholic Radio AMA 20, and streaming live on stgabrielradio.com. A beautiful and frequently heard phrase relating to the Catholic faith is sanctifying grace. What does it mean? In the most profoundly simple terms, sanctifying grace is the life of God within our soul. It's a gift freely given by God and infused into our soul at baptism. It purifies the soul, heals it of sin, makes it holy and pleasing to God. As the Catechism of the Catholic Church notes, sanctification, or being made holy by grace, is more than becoming like God. It is a participation in the life of God. The grace we're given at baptism is strengthened, or confirmed, in the sacrament of confirmation. Here's music appropriate to both of these life-giving sacraments. For baptism, a chant and a hymn with the same title, written six centuries apart, the Pentecost sequence Veni Sancte Spiritus, Come Holy Spirit, and the well-known hymn, Come Holy Ghost. For confirmation, Confirma Hoc Deus, O God, confirm the work that Thou hast wrought in us.
listening to Sacred Soundings, a production of St. Gabriel Catholic Radio, AM820, and I'm your host, Al Romano. We're discussing sanctifying grace, and we just heard selections relevant to the sacraments of baptism and confirmation from the Easter at Ephesus album by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. One unfamiliar with the Catholic faith might ask, Can you ever lose your sanctifying grace? Indeed we can, by committing mortal sin, that is, very serious sin. In that case, we are no longer in what we call the state of grace. We need to make a full and contrite confession in the sacrament of reconciliation, also called the sacrament of penance, to return to the state of grace we were in after our baptism. We constantly strive to remain in the state of grace and acquire even more grace by frequently receiving the sacrament of Holy Communion. In keeping with the subject of forgiveness, we turn now to a different CD by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, for hymns expressing heartfelt sorrow for sin and a desire for reconciliation to confession and penance. We'll hear God of Mercy and Compassion and Divine Physician. Thank you. 
You're listening to Sacred Soundings, a production of St. Gabriel Catholic Radio, AMA 20. We just heard selections pertinent to the Sacrament of Reconciliation, also called the Sacrament of Penance, from the Lent at Ephesus album by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. Our final set today focuses on Holy Communion, also called the Holy Eucharist, the ever-present source of sanctifying grace for Catholics. We draw from the third Ephesus album, by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, Adoration at Ephesus. We'll hear Vervum Caro, The Word as Flesh, O Sacrum Convivium, O Sacred Banquet, Ecce Panis Angelorum, Lo, the Bread of Angels, Tanta Mergo Sacramentum, Let Us Venerate So Great a Sacrament, and O Lord, I Am Not Worthy.
You're listening to Sacred Soundings, a production of St. Gabriel Catholic Radio, AMA 20. We just heard hymns and chants related to Holy Communion, for Catholics, the greatest source of sanctifying grace. And there you have it, a brief and very broad, musicalized look at sanctifying grace. What it is, how we get it, how we lose it, how we get it back, and one important way to increase it. And finally, for the benefit of listeners who feel that our focus was a bit too narrow today, or that the importance of sanctifying grace was overstated, I offer this simple thought. We know that the moment God calls us from this life will be our final moment. There will be no, repeat no, grace period. I'm Al Romano, your host for Sacred Soundings on St. Gabriel Catholic Radio, AM 820. Join us Wednesdays at noon and Sundays at 9.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. for more Sacred Soundings, music to deepen your faith beyond measure.